What is up, Storm Chasers? Today, we are going to review Love and Marriage Huntsville. We are in Season 3. This is Episode 1, and it started off with a banger exactly the way it should be. Now, let me just send this message over there to Open Winfrey Network, Carlos, and everybody else that works on the set. What I hope is that Season 3 doesn't bring us a lot of drama that you guys can try. Because, you know, the first two seasons, you know it had its own drama, but it was real. Season 3, I feel like it's going to be real, too, because Mel and Martell, who are basically carrying the damn show, are going through this divorce. And the whole thing with the custody of the kids and then the new baby mama comes around. Like, it, it could totally be real unscripted drama i just hope we don't get to a point to where like married to medicine gets to where real housewives of atlanta gets to where they kind of like uh, uh they 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 run out of shit to actually argue over so they kind of make up scenes and make up the fight scenes and all that i hope we don't get that low down dirty and nasty however i'm going to be here to review it all all right so first things first melody moving to atlanta when i first saw melody move to atlanta it was definitely on social media probably like six months before the show aired i knew she was here and as a matter of fact one of the main reasons why melody chose to come here it looks like she was staying with her brother now i believe she's purchased a home but Put all that shit aside. Let's keep it real. Atlanta is where it's at. Atlanta is where it's at for the for uh, uh for black elite for black entertainment for for opportunities for black people. This is literally black Hollywood. As a matter of fact, I dare to say Atlanta does not need to call itself black Atlanta, uh, black Hollywood anymore because Hollywood is closed. But we still working down here in the south. So you just call us Atlanta, the new home of entertainment. Now. I'm not surprised that she moved here. I see Melody moving up. I see her hanging out with Atlanta Elite. I see Melody hosting other shows for the Open Winfrey Network. Like, Melody is truly living her dreams with or without Martell. She just did it with a plan, and I got to give her props to that. So I was surprised that she came here, and, is, and what's most important is that she actually had the support of her brother. Her brother seems like he's there to have her back, and I don't know if her brother completely keeps it real with her, but he's definitely there to listen, all right? So then, moving along from that, we, we see Martell being a parent without melody and he's doing the daddy thing and he's tending to the kids and he says he can't get any work done because he got the kids no let's keep it real you can't get your whole screwed because you got your kids you can't slide over to your girlfriend's house because you got the kids with you so basically martel is just getting a little bit of what melody has been putting up with their whole marriage i still don't understand why in 2021 we are sitting there looking at fathers take care of their kids as if that's anything fucking special. It's not. It's his child, too. It's his children, too. He should be doing 50% of the work as well. This should not be new. This is not daddy daycare. This is not Mr. Mom. This is just a father being a father. Melody had to figure it out. Now you figure it out, too. Moving right along for that, Martell keeps making note of something that Melody didn't do for him. All right? Mel uh, Melody, stop doing this for me. You don't know everything Melody has done. What is it? That Mel Melody, I'm about to call her Melanie, I'm thinking of the game. What is it that Melody stopped doing with the Carrie Hills from 2009 haircut? What is it that she stopped doing that caused Martell to go and cheat on her? Can y'all let me know? Because when I do my little research, the only thing I'm finding is that she doesn't give oral sex. And your wife not giving you oral sex is not enough reason to go and cheat on her. I'm sorry it's not. Now, I used to work with a guy. I'm not going to call your name out, but at Amazon, I worked with this dude, this older guy. And he said that him and his wife had an agreement. And the agreement was, oh, Kevin, that's his name. And the agreement was... You know, we're together, we're married, whenever you need your dick sucked, you just go over here. Now, ladies, I want you to let me know down in the comments, is that something you will work out with your man? Like, he, can do, he can't do nothing else with another chick except get his dang slurp, 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 and then he come back home to you. Is that cool? I just want y'all to let me know, because if that's the only thing that Martell can say bad about Melody, then, sir, you're... Throwing away your family for nothing. Moving right along from that, uh, we definitely got to talk about Martell and this whole confrontation of Marceau and Tisha, right? And it wasn't so much a confrontation as Martell going to Marceau and Tisha, uh, uh, really being humble, saying that he apologizes for his past comments, and really just trying to see where he goes from there. Now, let me say this. I truly believe that 
with all of the drama that Martel had with Marceau, he was never going to do anything to him. I don't believe he was actually going to fight Marceau. I don't believe he was actually going to, you know, attack their family. Like, I just don't believe that Martel was trying to do any of that. I think Martel got so caught up in Melody's own drama with Tisha that Martel just kind of followed suit. Because when you married, it's like, if you got beef with him, I got beef with him. But you can look at Wendy Williams and see exactly where they get you. Absolutely fucking nowhere. Moving right along with that. Let's talk about meeting men at the bottom and building them up. Because when Melody comes back from Atlanta, she talks to her good friend. Um, the hell, I can't remember the uh, the Laberic's baby mama. What is her name? Camille? Camilla? Hell, I can't remember her fucking name. Anyway, as Melody's having the conversation with a girl, she says, I was with Martel when he had a receding hairline. Ooh, ooh, well, damn. I was with him when he had buck teeth. Well, damn. I was with him when he didn't have no money. And where in the hell did that get you, Melody? Four kids later in the game, then gave him some of the best years of your life, and he does nothing but throw exactly in your face everything that he did for you, cheated on you, and made you look like a fool on national television. And so I'm here to say, this whole notion of finding somebody while you low and build together, build him up, build him to be the man he should be, I don't really think that's a thing. I don't really think that's a thing that ladies should do because there is something to a man having you to build him up from nothing, and then he gets there... Kevin Hart. And then he don't want you no more. And I used to wonder why men would do that. It's literally like they would have they would have a starter wife and then they would come up, Steve Harvey, and then when they got to a certain level, they would let them go and then move on and would have like an upgrade of sorts. And I think it's literally because when a man looks at his wife, he wants his wife to revere him. He wants his wife to look up to him, to only know the best of him. But if you know his worst, if you know who he really is, if you remember him when he had a pot belly, receded hairline, buck teeth that didn't have no money, if you remember when he if you just remember when he was a loser then every time he looks at you he sees his own failure so it, it's it's i mean that that that's the deepest as i can get with it right now but there has to be a psychological reasoning behind being with somebody who has had your back through it all and as soon as you come up you trade her in for a newer model and but damn martel didn't even do that because the chick he had a baby by don't look nothing don't look nothing better than Melody. I don't know. I mean, do, are y'all offended even when y'all dudes cheat on y'all with ugly girls? I just want to know. By the way, don't think your man won't ever cheat with an ugly girl because ugly girls got heart. You know, same thing with big girls. A lot of y'all around here still wondering why big girls get married and they got happy families and they live in a life that a lot of y'all wish y'all had. It's because she has a nice personality and she's special. So I'm just saying, don't ever underestimate an ugly chick. Don't ever underestimate a fat chick. She will take your man. But Putting that all aside, go deeper. Go deeper in the comments for me, all right? Last but not least, let's talk about Martel and Melody blowing up and Martel threatening. What is that noise? Is that my, is that my heat? Oh, well, y'all just gonna have to ignore it. Putting that all aside, let's talk about Martel and Melody and this big blow up that they had at the end of the episode. So Melody comes to the house and she's like, look, I'm here for my two weeks. You can go ahead and go over to the other house. Let me handle my business. Martel doesn't want to leave and Martel is refusing to leave the house because he knows he's wrong for what he did and he doesn't want to leave his beautiful home. It's just that simple. He doesn't want to give Melody any space. He doesn't want to give Melody the opportunity to have another man in there. Like men are, men are super territorial. And so that's all that was about. But Martel thought he was slick by threatening a Melody with full custody to get her to blow up and act a fool on camera. And I'm glad that Melody didn't actually fall for the bullshit because this is what you got to understand. Everything you do on camera, can will be used against you in court. So Melody, although you may want to knock him upside his head, you might not want to say that. Although you may jump up and want to scream, shout, and fuss and stab his nigga, you might not want to say that on camera because he can and will use it against you in a court of law and you just don't want to have any thing you don't want to put any bullets into his arsenal however ain't no judge in the south finna give them four kids to martell a uh, full time he can't even handle them half the damn time how he gonna handle them full time number one number two he has to prove that melody is an unfit parent which she is not she has done the majority of the parenting up until now and last but not least i do have to say melody it's time to carry your ass back home it's time to carry your ass back home to huntsville i don't care if you got to get a hotel around the corner y'all rich now y'all got that oprah money now well oprah ain't got oprah money now but y'all got that carlos king 
making money now. Figure that stuff out and be in the same town as your kids because, Melody, what he can't use against you is that you abandon your children by moving out of state. I'm just saying. You never want to underestimate how petty somebody would get. And I always say this, too. Well, I think Tyler Perry says it best. Actually, you don't know a person until you see them, what, happy, sad, broken, mad, something like that. Yeah, now we're seeing uh, Martell when he's mad. And we're going to see him get more and more petty. So I'm here for it. I'm going to be reviewing the season. I can't wait to see how things turn out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. Make sure you tune in to more reviews on this channel. Um, I got to do Bell Collective and Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Whitney Williams movie we got to review. In addition to that, if you want to do business on my channel and you're serious about promoting your page, your brand, your product, whatever, email me at stormmyroadbusiness at gmail.com. If you want to have a two-hour YouTube consultation package, all right, and then this package will be due. Let's talk about your goals on YouTube. We go over equipment. We go over the do's and don'ts. And I put you on somewhat of an action plan to be able to build your, your channel from zero to 100,000 subs. All right. That's pretty much what I'm, special, what I'm specializing in at this point. Hit me up at that email, stormmyrobusiness at gmail.com, and my assistant will be responding to you with the feeds and what you need to do, etc. That's it. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes oh yeah that sugar that sugar is real bad so now with Yamaya's gift you get a lot of gifts but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability to heal thyself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting miss rona we all trying to windmill her ass up out of our lives but one of my personal favorites as a matter of fact two of my personal favorite products with Yamaya's gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men and the reason why i like those products is because if you are somebody with a low sex drive if you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get brian pumpered lexington steeled all night long then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier healthy marriage all right now place your orders today whether you need your immunity taken care of you're trying to lose some weight you're trying to get rid of that sugar the diabetes or you're just trying to bust a nut okay order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com